Yet again, more Westminster gossip, rumours and nonsense. We now have the internal battles inside the Tory party and just the whole political class who are too busy just plotting against each other. We now have uh, news that uh, allegedly, potentially, six Tory MPs are considering defection to other parties. Labour Party as the main rival, right? Which raises a number of questions. Uh, following the resignation of uh, Oliver Dowden as Tory chairman, who we reported earlier, uh, he's been hanging out with uh, former Prime Minister David Cameron because he was always a Cameroon. And there is uh, now it's going to be a, a, an, an insurgent, essentially, inside the party. Six Tory MPs. Now, there, there's a, one problem here is that the, the Tory party over the last uh, 10 years, 10 years or so, went very rogue when it came to candidate selections in order to hit their quota of finding ordinary people from all backgrounds and you know not just class like working class middle class but also different genders and everything else that also meant that there have been so many times mps that were not true conservatives so from day one they were not even true conservatives they were either basically lib dems or light socialists who joined the Tory party. Now, one problem that Boris Johnson is facing is that following his success at the no confidence vote, he won that vote narrowly. The Tory MPs are not giving up. The backbenchers are again sending in their letters of no confidence to the 1922 committee, and they are going to be changing the rules uh, because they say that the, the situation has changed and uh, the Prime Minister needs to go and we have to either t uh, use some government ministers, some good ones, a few of them, I guess, to resign. And there are talks of that as well, which is unlikely. But they've said that we can't wait until July 2023. There's a paral paralysis in the party. We are always waiting for someone else to do something. And that's one thing. But when it comes to the situation with the potential defections of the Labour Party, the sources have also come out to say that they will need to move quickly because the party is lining up candidates to run against them at the next general election. Everything is so selfish. Everything is so Westminster bubble. Everything is about, well, if you want if you want to become a candidate, if you want to be an MP, then do it now. Why is everything so tactical inside the Westminster bubble? You know, there's absolutely no consideration for any of us. The people who not only elect them, we technically have the power to hire and fire these idiots. We also fund them. We pay their salaries. We are the electorate and the taxpayers. Yet, this is what they spend their time talking about. It's absolutely embarrassing, the state of the country right now. Uh, but as we always say, it is also our responsibility because um, I always say the uh, state of uh, uh, government and politicians and politics in each country is a mirror held at the people themselves. Uh, if you think we are powerless, we are not powerless. We're just not doing anything about it. But hopefully channels like this, we are trying our best to do something rather than just sit in a corner and keep complaining and moaning. It is what it is. Uh, we're going to come back in half an hour. Subscribe to the channel. I'm Maya TC and we are the media.